Sometimes accomplishing what you set out to do can take a lot longer than you had expected it to or wanted it to. I know that that's been the case for a lot of things in my life that I've set out to do. Learning how to code took me almost a year before I was able to get my first job as a developer after I started to self-teach. Getting out of debt and fixing my credit and buying a house, that took me a lot of time. That took me a really, really long time. I had terrible credit when I was about 20 years old. And when I was turning 21, I started working on my credit a little bit, but I didn't take it seriously. I still had a lot of debt, but I was starting to pay stuff off and I was repairing my credit. It wasn't until I got a little bit older and I wanted to buy a house that I really got serious about paying down a lot of my debt. And in paying down a lot of my debt, raised my credit score, which enabled me to buy a house. But when I was like 20 years old, I had a 400 credit rating. And now I'm close to an 800 credit rating when I'm 36 years old. That's like 15 years ago when I first started repairing my credit. About eight years ago, I was able to purchase my first home. So my credit has been pretty good for a while now. But it wasn't always the case and it took me a long time to repair that. Building up my finances and my savings is another thing that's taken me a really long time to do. And a big reason why I have a decent amount saved up is because of purchasing a home. And that's one of the better financial decisions that I made, but it took a long time and a lot of work to build up enough savings, to build up enough credit, and to have the right job which earned me enough money at the time combined with my wife's income to purchase our first home. It wasn't something that happened overnight. It wasn't something that was easy. It was stuff that we had to talk about and we planned out You know, a year or two beforehand. We started paying off debt and fixing our credit. And it took us two years before we were able to purchase our first home because we had to fix so much stuff. And now after selling my second home, I've made a lot of progress and I've also made a little bit of money off of the equity from those homes. But that wasn't always the case. Uh, for a long time, I was really broke and I didn't have any money saved up. You know, I was one of those people that spent every dollar they made. And over the years, I've made the progress and I've gotten better and I now have money saved up where I don't spend every dollar that I make and I'm actually able to make more than I spend. And you know, that's all stuff that took a long time to build up for me. It didn't happen overnight. And I'm not rich by any means, but I'm way richer than I ever thought I would have been. The way that I grew up, I didn't have much. I grew up, you know, single parent home in a one bedroom apartment and not really having much at all. And everything I own, I worked for. And yeah, I got lucky in the sense that I purchased a good home at the right time. I worked jobs that enabled me to save a little bit of money and pay off some debt. My wife also worked jobs that paid her well and she was able to save up and pay off debt as well. So a lot of those things in a way were luck, but the truth is I, I came up from really not having much. And over the years, I've little by little have saved up and made good decisions that have gotten me to where I'm at now. But that's all stuff that's taken many, many years to accomplish. And there's been a lot of times through that progress that things weren't looking so good and things may not have worked out for the best, but they did. And I kept making good decisions and I kept trying to improve and I kept trying to do the right thing, like fix up my credit and save up money and purchase a home and find a better job and pursue a career that can make me money and give me a better future for me and my family in order for me to make more money and then reinvest that and continue to grow my nest egg and my small little net worth that I have now that's actually building up quite a bit. And if you would have told me when I was 15 years old that I would have the things that I have now and that I would have owned a couple houses and that I'd be you know working a job that pays me very well I honestly wouldn't have believed it and even if you would have told me that when I was 25 years old it would have probably been hard for me to believe I've kind of been so out of touch with who I was 10 years ago or 20 years ago and all that progress that I've made over those years I've kind of forgotten and I guess I don't really pay too much attention to it but when I kind of sit back and think about it for like the purposes of making this video because I needed something to talk about and I didn't know what could kind of relate to code in the sense of like making progress and learning how to code but what could also relate to just life in general because life is all about making progress and getting better and doing better and improving if you don't then you kind of grow stagnant and you do the same thing and you don't 
improve your life and you don't make more money, you just kind of do the same job every day, going home and watching the same TV shows or playing the same video games or just doing the same routine day in and day out. And if you don't try to take those steps in order to do better, then you don't make any progress and you kind of just whittle away and kind of die. And that's that's how I felt many times. And when I was in my mid-20s and I was feeling that way, that I didn't have anything and I wanted to purchase a house because a lot of people told me it would be a good financial decision and I saw friends that were doing it and I didn't have it, I decided that I was going to work on repairing my credit and building up my my credit and work on paying off my debt in order to purchase a home and I did that and then I moved on to the next thing that I can make progress on and that was repairing the house a bit and trying to put some effort and money into that house because we bought a foreclosed home that needed work and repairs and we did a lot of that stuff on our own in order to you know you know build up equity and repair the home that we bought and kind of make that investment and I did that for a while and then that moved into something else until I learned how to code. And that was the biggest amount of progress I've done probably in the last five years of my life. That's the biggest thing that I've done is learning how to code and pursuing a career as a software developer because it's really, really improved my life and it's helped me a lot in the grand scheme of my progress. And I guess the reason why I decided to make this video and I'm talking about all this progress and, and whatnot is because I was really thinking that you know, a lot of people, including myself, are very hard on themselves because we have a tendency of really focusing on the now, you know, because that's really what's important, what's going on right now. You can't control the past and you can't really control the future. You can take steps right now in order to make the future better, but you still can't control it. But when you're in this spot of right now, looking back and you don't feel like you've made enough progress or you're trying to look into the future and you feel that where you're at right now is not where you want to be or where you should be or, or where you think you should be and you want to make more progress so that like that when the future does come, it can be better for you because you can make more progress now to work towards that future that you want. But the truth is, is don't stress out too much. As long as you keep making the right decisions, progress can take time. And my life is really good right now, but 20 years ago, it wasn't. And 20 years ago, I was 16 years old and 36 looked so far away. But that time in between was so long, yet it feels like it was such a short amount of time. And those two decades in between, all those steps that I took to get to where I'm at now is what has put me in a good spot. So. I could have made bad decisions that would have led me into a bad spot now, but I could still make good decisions now that can lead me into a better spot in five or 10 years. So it's never too late to start making progress and taking steps in the right direction in order to change your life. But you do have to take those steps. And if they're small steps and they don't feel like they're doing much for you at the current time, you look back, you'll be amazed at how many steps you took and how far you've come. And I'm just saying that from experience because I've been really looking back at the last 10, 20 years of my life and I think about all the little decisions that I made, you know, the decisions to stop hanging out with certain friends, the decisions to start, you know, being a little bit better with my money, the decisions to not buy crap that I didn't need and to save my money instead and to kind of really just improve my life in little areas, to eat a little bit better, to work out a little bit more. All those steps, all those good decisions that I made eventually snowballed into where I'm at now. You know, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a self-help guru. I'm not anybody special. I'm just some dude who's got a camera, who's kind of sharing his life. And it's not like this big extravagant life. I'm, I, you know, I wasn't some young millionaire telling you how to make all the right decisions. I'm just kind of telling you the stuff that worked for me and the things that helped me a little bit in order to live a nice middle-class suburban life. And honestly, I live a great life considering how I grew up and I may not be a millionaire yet, but I have done things that many of my peers and many of the, my friends that I grew up with have not been able to accomplish. And, you know, while it may seem like silly things to people who grew up privileged, like, you know, purchasing a home and having a net worth and having money in the bank and investments and things like that, those were all things that, that I never thought I would have because I never was told I could have those things. And those were things that I had to figure out on my own. And I had to figure out how to make those investments and how to get those things and how to make that progress because I wasn't privileged enough to have parents who taught me about those things. I had to go out and figure it out on my own. And I guess that's where the value 
comes that I can bring is that I'm someone who is figuring it out and I want to document a lot of this stuff and I want to continue to make better investments in my life and improve my life and I want to bring the audience that I have now with me because I know there's a lot of people out there who are trying to make those improvements and some of the things that I've done while they may not be these big achievements that some other people on YouTube have you know, I'm, I'm just a regular guy who made it out of a bad situation and is living a pretty good life. And I kind of am living that American dream of the white picket fence with the house and the kids and the dog. And I'm lucky enough to have those things. And I know that those are things that a lot of people wish they could have because I grew up wanting those things. And eventually I did get those things, but I never thought that I would. And it never seemed like something that was going to be achievable for someone like me and from where I came from and the kind of upbringing I had it, it just didn't seem feasible and the fact that I'm doing so well and I've made so much progress in my life is what I want to share with everyone and it'd be cool to continue to do it and to have people who can watch me and so I can be held accountable for some of the commitments that I try to make and some of the things that I do in order to you know show you out there that you can improve your life and I want to try to document some of the things that I'm trying to do to improve my life like this YouTube channel and the online little blogs and businesses that I want to start and tutorials that I want to do and and real estate investments that I want to make and and stock market investments and I'll talk about my crypto investments and I want to talk about all that stuff Stuff because I think it's good to share that information in order to help other people out, in order to help the younger generation, in order to help the older generation that might be trying to get on their feet and don't think that they can do it. Anybody can build up the wealth and I think there's a lot to go around and you just got to do what you got to do in order to make those things happen and I've been doing them little by little um, longer than I realize I guess and I don't see all the progress and Sometimes if I step back and I, I look at the situation, I see how much progress I have made. All right, this was gonna be one of those one-off videos where I just kind of rant and talk and just share what I'm feeling and thinking and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was good. I hope it brought value to someone. I know it wasn't just about talking about learning how to code. I know it was kind of motivational and self-help and all that stuff, which I swear I'm not trying to be a guru. I'm not phony. I'm just sharing my story. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to tell you that I know how to do it. I don't. I, I'm trying to realize the things that I did that helped me accomplish it, but I don't know how I did it. I just kind of watched people on YouTube and read blogs and read some books and, and listen to podcasts and listen to motivational speakers and just kind of tried to apply everything that I thought was valuable in the process of improving my life. And I just want to share that stuff with you. With all that said, this video is probably going to be a lot longer than I intended it to be. And I'm going to kind of keep it raw and maybe lightly edit it a little bit just so it's not too much ums and uhs to listen to, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it brought you some value. And if it did, just hit that like button and let me know in the comments like how you're doing with your progress in what you're trying to do with life. And it doesn't just have to be about learning how to code. It can be anything that you're trying to do with your life and areas in your life that you're trying to make progress in and make better and ultimately you know, improve for the best and have that that area of your life be stable and secure and doing well. Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to see how people are trying to improve. And yeah, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.